What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of fall here in the United States, and I gotta tell you something. There is nothing like fall in New York. It is absolutely beautiful, man. You've got the beautiful leaves changing colors. You know, you throw on a sweater, you walk around, and you hear the leaves crunching under your feet. You know, you stop off at a coffee shop, maybe get yourself a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> you know, uh, you go pumpkin picking and apple picking with your family, and it's all those great things you know you visit a farmer's market you know who knew vino was so poetic right <laughs> but listen guys i really do love the fall and one thing i really love is four flavors so today we're gonna make three cocktails using a spirit that is perfect for the fall and that is apple brandy. Now we're not going to use just any apple brandy, we're going to use something called Calvados. Now Calvados is an apple brandy that is made in the Normandy region of France, but if you don't have Calvados, you have something like Apple Jack or some other kind of apple brandy, you should absolutely feel free to use that in place of Calvados. You know, listen, every apple brandy uses different apples, but in general you should get the gist of the cocktail, right folks? So make sure you stick around, because we are going to boogie down. All right, folks, like I said, today I'm gonna to be making three cocktails using Calvados, all right? Now, one of these cocktails I've already had before, but the other two are brand new to me. So we're gonna start with the one I've had before because this is one of my absolute favorite cocktails, and this one is called Angel Face, all right? It's a very simple cocktail, equal parts, three ingredients, so let's bang this one out, right? Let's look at what is in the sauce. The first thing you're gonna need is one ounce of a dry gin, all right, folks? I'm gonna be using Beef Eater, but you should feel free to use any dry gin that you have in stock, all right? Next, we're gonna need one ounce of our spirit of the day, and that is Calvados, all right? But you can use an Apple Jack or whatever apple brand you have to make this cocktail as well, all right? Then we're gonna do one ounce of an apricot liqueur. I'm using Luxardo, but like Vino always says, use what you got, folks, all right? So that's one ounce, all right? So that's very simple, only three ingredients. One ounce each, you can't go wrong, all right, folks? Now I'm gonna take my glass on, just put that to the side, and I'm going to grab some ice, all right? I'm gonna stir it out for about 30 seconds, 25, 30 seconds, just to get some good dilution, all right, folks? All right, folks, I think we stirred that up enough. Let me give that a little taste. Oh, so good, I love this cocktail. All right, now, like I said, I'm gonna get, uh, get my glass out. I have it already set to the side. And we're just gonna pour that into our coupe here. There you go. I think a beautiful straw color. I mean, it is a pretty looking cocktail. It has a great nose as well. It smells really good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish that with a little orange peel. All right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna express the oils onto the glass, all right? Then we're gonna rub it for some good luck. And then I'm just gonna clean it up because you know Vino doesn't like his uh, peels to look too messy, all right, folks? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna cut off the sides, all right? And then I'm just gonna dump it into the glass and there we have it, folks, our angel face cocktail. All right, so you guys know the drill. I'm gonna put that cocktail to the side and we're gonna try all three of them out at the end of the video, all right? Now, the next cocktail we're making is called Fallen Leaves, all right, folks? Now, the first thing we're gonna need is three quarters of an ounce of our spirit of the day, uh, Calvados, all right? And once again, I will emphasize this throughout the video because that's how I do. You can use any apple brandy that you have, but we're using Calvados today, right? Now we're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. I'm gonna be using Carpano Antica. All right. But you can use whatever sweet vermouth you have. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a quarter ounce, just one quarter ounce of dry vermouth. All right, I'm going to be using Dolan for this. And then a bar spoon of brandy, okay? Um, interesting, you know, because it already has apple brandy in it, but I guess they're just trying to emphasize the brandy notes. So we're just gonna do a bar spoon of brandy, all right, there you go. And then we're gonna put some ice into our shaker, I mean, into our mixing glass. Okay. I'm gonna stir that for about 25, 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we stirred that up enough. Let me give it a little taste. 
pretty interesting. It tastes like it might be quite delicious, right, folks? So let's go ahead and get our glass out. I'm gonna be serving that in a Nick and Nora. Get my julep strainer, let's pour it into the glass. All right, another pretty color here. I mean, Vino loves his stirred cocktail, so. You know, I always love the way they taste. I love the simplicity, but the complexity at the same time, I love it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and garnish that with an orange peel, just like the last, just like the last time. All right, there we go. So let's just press the moyus onto the glass, onto the drink, and then we're going to rub the glass, clean up the peel, all right? And then we are going to dump it in. And there you have it, folks, our Fallen Leaves Cocktail. All right, folks, now it is time for our third and final cocktail. And this one is called Le Sang Jun, and I believe that means the yellow blood, all right, folks? Let us look at what is in the sauce, right? The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and a half of our Calvados. All righty. I gotta tell you, I'm loving all the apple scents in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the, the apartment right now. It smells so good, you know? Um, now, the next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of our dry vermouth. Right. This is probably the most I've used dry vermouth in a long time. Two cocktails. <laughs> then we're gonna do a half an ounce of elderflower liqueur. So this will be interesting. The elderflower with the uh, apple brandy. You know, we should get some big fruity, flowery flavors going on here. All right. So again, that's a half ounce of elderflower liqueur. Then we're gonna do uh, something that's really interesting, and it's gonna I really imagine add some complexity to the cocktail. But we're gonna do a, a, a bar spoon of a gentian liqueur. I'm gonna be using Sue's. All right, so just a bar spoon of this stuff. You know, this stuff is pretty potent and it can overpower a cocktail. So we're gonna just do a bar spoon. All right, there you go. But it should add some nice complexity, some earthiness to the cocktail. To go along with the apple flavors and the and the uh, um, floral flavors, you know, should make for some interesting stuff. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do an absinthe rinse on, rinse on our glass, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and use my atomizer here, just, there we go. Let's see, it's another, another bold flavor that we're gonna be adding to our cocktail. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side while I stir my drink. All right. And as usual, we are gonna stir that for about 25 to 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we are done stirring that up. Man, those absinthe smells are stronger than a mother. <laughs> I can smell it in my glass. So let's go ahead and add some ice to our glass. You can do one big rock or you can do a bunch of cubes. I'm going to be using uh, some ice cubes instead of uh, one big rock. All right, there you go. And uh, let's go ahead and pour it into our glass, all right? There you go. Again, a beautiful color, nice straw color, nice golden hue. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and garnish that with another, that's right folks, another orange peel. All right, I'll make this one a little extra long, there you go. And then I'm going to express my oils onto the glass. Rub it for good luck. And do the whole cleaning the thing for the drink. All right, there we go. Make, we'll make some edges on this one, there we go, beautiful. Now we just throw it in the glass, and there we have it, folks. Our Le Sang Jin Jong, something like that. I'm sure Rob from Rob's Home Bar will correct me. <laughs> all right, so here it is, our three Calvados cocktails. Let's give all these bad boys a sippy sip, starting with one of my favorite cocktails of all time, and that is called the Angel Face. Cheers. Mm, right in the nose, beautiful nose. Yeah, oh, God. That is a fantastic cocktail. For me personally, that's like a nine out of 10, you know, almost a 10. I mean, it is such a delicious cocktail. The apricot and the um, um, apple notes really work so well together. I mean, and the gin adds just enough of those botanicals to add a little more complexity to the cocktail. I mean, I honestly love this cocktail so much. And this is one of my favorite fall cocktails. And I'll have a few of these throughout the season and stuff like that, because they're just so delicious, right folks? Now, let's go ahead now and try the Fallen Leaves Cocktail. Oh, very nice nose in this as well. Mm, very good. It's a, it's very similar to a Manhattan. I mean, I think when we look at the cocktail, look at the recipes here, it's kind of like a brandy Manhattan. Um, the dry vermouth doesn't add too much. It's uh, it's it's got more of a split base between the Calvados and the sweet vermouth, you know. So you're getting kind of like a perfect Manhattan using brandy, you know, whatever you want to call it. 
All right, folks, so very good, very delicious. You know, the Manhattan is one of my favorite cocktails. Um, so this is gonna be a little more on the vermouth side. So it's gonna be a little easier probably to digest than a uh, Manhattan, which is, which at least if you do my specs, it's gonna be a little more heavier on the booze, on the, uh, on the whiskey. So with this one being kind of half and half, it's a little more easier to drink a little, but with not adding, too much complexity, you know what I'm saying? Now let's go ahead and try Le Sang Jean or something. I can't get that word right, but anyway, cheers. <laughs> All right, so right in the nose, you're not getting the uh, the Suze, which is good because Suze, like I said, very overpowering. Good stuff, but can be overpowering. Cheers. Oh, hmm, this is interesting. That's good. Very easy drinking. I mean, that is like. What are we talking about here? We got Calvados, Dry Vermouth, Double Flower. Yeah, I mean, I, I shouldn't be too surprised. I mean, it is very, very easy drinking. Not too much complexity. Very light. Um, you know, you're getting definitely those florals from the Elderflower that are really blending well with the Calvados. I think that they really help kind of brighten the cocktail up a lot. Um, yeah, this is a very, very easy drinking cocktail. Mm. Yeah. I'm not looking for anything too sweet. Too, you know, on that sip, I did pick up a little more of the Suze, which I was wondering where, where it went. It's there, it's really on the back end of the cocktail, you know? So anyway, look, all three really good cocktails. They're all very easy drinking, um, very, you know, light, easy drinking cocktails, which I think would be nice on a fall day when you just want to maybe relax with a sweater and, I don't know, watch uh, watch something on TV with your wife, a little Netflix and chill, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, folks, look, let me give this bad boy one more sip here. I just love it so much. Ah. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying your fall so far, and uh, you hopefully you make some of these cocktails. If you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends, folks. Come on, it's the season of giving, right? Or is that next month? That's Christmas, but still, give it anyway. No, it's Thanksgiving, so give it, share this with people. <laughs> um, and like I said, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Because remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you cocktails, or when life gives you lemons, <laughs> make yourself a cocktail, folks. Cheers.